Good morning everyone. I was asked to do a tutorial on how I did this tumbler which I used alcohol inks and um, water slide decal paper. Um, I am not going to do another Prince cup because this cup is for my mom and I don't have anybody to make a Prince cup for but I will do another one, another video to show you step by step because everybody and myself included so they could not find a step by step tutorial from beginning to end for this entire process so I'm going to do everything including spray painting the cup everything covering the lid from start to finish that way so this video is going to be very very long but I wanted to give people the opportunity to be able to see exactly how to make a cup from start to finish um, in this cup, I used the water slide paper, I used the alcohol inks, I used epoxy, and in my epoxy, I don't know if you can see, I think you can, I used a little bit of purple glitter in my epoxy just to give it that pop, um, which you don't have to do, but I just did it because I know that my mom would, you know, absolutely love it. Um, also, just I, my son, like you heard in the background, I have four kids so you're probably gonna hear them and I apologize in advance but there's absolutely no time for me to be able to do a video this long where they're not gonna be here so bear with me I'll try to talk over them and try to get them to be quiet but you never know so the first thing that I did for this cup is I take my lid off I already took the paper off for that to get it off clean I just used my hair dryer where the seam was um, and I just melted it a little bit and it came right off without having to like do anything else to it I take my lid of my cup and I put it in a bag and then I take it and I wrap it tight oh actually you get it do the opposite side so the top part of your lid is what needs to be facing inside your bag that way you can actually stick it inside your cup because you're going to stick this inside your cup while you're spray painting. So, I twist it. And then I tie a knot. You might not have to tie a knot, but I do just so I don't have to worry about it coming loose. <laughs> and then I take it and I put it inside my cup. And I try to get it, make sure it's flat. But you also want to make sure that you're gonna. There's no little pieces of plastic sticking over the side. That way, you're able to get full coverage around your cup. Because I'm going to spray paint this one white first. That way, it'll be easier to apply um, the alcohol inks without it being translucent. So I want mine to pop. Um, I'm going to be doing. I'm doing beach cups for my mother for her job for a fundraiser so I'm going to be doing a cup um, I'm going to paint it similar to this color right here it might be a little bit lighter and I'm not done with this cup at all but I'm going to do it similar to this color because I'm going to do a whole bunch of sea animals on this cup with the water decal paper that way the water slide decal paper that way you can see so it's the same concept as the Prince cup but I'm just going to be doing something totally different because this is the cup that I need to make anyway. So that was easier for me. So I'm going to go outside and spray paint. And I will take my phone out there with me. That way you can see that part too. Because like I said, I want to do step by step. So I'm going to take my phone, my phone out with me for my spray paint. I am using the gloss. I've seen people use matte, flat. I don't know honestly if it matters. But this is just what I already had. So I'm using the gloss to... Um, spray paint this this might take several coats to do so I do my coat and I let it dry completely and then I come back like an hour later and I do another coat again so I'm going to try to pause the video in between then and then come back to when I'm doing the next coat that way you guys can see and then when I have full coverage I let it dry and then I just bring it back in the house and I will start then with alcohol inks so let's go outside okay so I'm outside now and I have already shaking up my spray paint I did it for probably about two minutes so um, I did it off camera because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear this so I, sh I shook it up so I'm gonna I'm back probably about at least a foot from my cup um, and just start bringing lightly 
you don't want to have too much paint in one area. Carter, watch out, baby. I don't want the paint to get in your face. I'm just doing a light coat right now, like I said, because you'll have to come back out here and um, spray it again once this dries. But I don't want to do too much at one time and leave spots where it's not going to dry evenly. And so you want to make sure that, like I said, that you get around your edges really good that way you don't have when you take Why your top back off that, that way you don't have the silver part Maybe showing um, still after you already painted everything else white so I'm gonna let this dry and then I will come back and do the next part all right now we're ready for round two so I'm gonna start spraying again you especially want to make sure that you get in this part right here too because sometimes it's hard to see that. Trying to make sure. Oops, sorry. I'm holding my phone and doing this at the same time. Close the door so you don't let Marley out. Okay, I think I have everything covered, so I'm going to let this, let me check one more time. I'm going to let this dry again, and after this, I think mine should be good to go for us to start putting our alcohol inks on it. So I'll be right back after this dries. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys what I'll be using for the alcohol inks. The color I'm going to do to make the ocean color is this one which is sailboat blue and I'm going to mix it with this one which is pool I'm going to use both of these and mix them together um, to try to get the color I also use these because it's a lot easier to use these rather than using cotton balls because the cotton balls kind of stick so I took each one of these and I cut it into three pieces to just save because that helps to not use this big thing because and really all I'm going to need for this is one because like I said I'm mixing them together so I'm just going to use this one but this helps it to last a whole lot longer when you cut them up. I'm also going to, I think I'm going to use this white glitter after I to put into my epoxy like I did um for the other for the prince cup the purple that I put in we shall see I might change it to a blue glitter instead depending on how I like it on the cup oh I don't know for sure if this is even going to show up good so I might put this and blue or just the blue we'll see when I get to that part but if I do change it I will let you know and then you're also going to need your epoxy, which I'm trying to make sure you can see it. But it's the amazing clear cast, and it has to be the one that says clear cast. It says clear cast, um, FDA compliant, so make sure you get that box. And I got mine from the actual website, so mine looked like this. And I will, when we get to the measurements, then I will show you exactly how to measure, but you want to do equal parts. So I think that's all the things that we will need. Um, I use, when I'm mixing, I use these craft sticks that I got from Walmart. It's 150 of them, and they're just really small that way. 
I can just throw them away when I'm done and not have to worry about it. And I also use these, which I got from Walmart. And I just use this to mix my epoxy in, so you're only going to need one. So I'm just going to use this and this. I think that's pretty much everything that we'll need in order to do this part of the cup and then I will show you after we're finished with all this how to do the water slide decal part okay so now that our cup is finally dry all the way around I use gloves because I really don't want this to be all over my hands um but I have my little cup of alcohol in here this is let me see 70% just regular rubbing alcohol and I honestly didn't even use it on the other cup I just had it just in case um I, but I really didn't even need it but I'll just put it over here just in case I decide that I want to use some of it so I'm going to take my sponge a little sponge that I cut up and I just remember I'm going for this color right here or similar it doesn't have to be the exact color but similar so I'm gonna take my two alcohol inks which were the sailboat blue and the pool and I just put little dots and I have a paper towel here just so it doesn't like get on it um, but I just take a little bit little dots of it and then and do the other one too. That way they can be mixed together. And then I'm gonna start at the bottom. And just dab it on your cup. And pretty much at this point, you're just dabbing until you get was what you desire, the desired look for yourself. So of course it's gonna be happy. Keep adding more. And I'm gonna have to let this dry and then probably and most likely go back over certain areas. It would be darker because it just depends. Right now it's kind of light still. Carter, I'm recording baby, can you back up please? Medium large medium big big medium small tiny big I'm trying to make sure I'm doing this so you guys can Probably see it. I'm left handed so my hand is like right in the camera. And I apologize for that, but there's not really much I can do about that. What happened? Where's the handle? Some people take their alcohol inks and they just like Where's take it and dab go? it on the cup and do it that way. But Where's I'm... I don't want to do that because I want it to be a combination of both colors, like I said. So I'm trying to make them as even as possible so I can get the color that I want. And just let me show you really quick again how the difference. Because I'm going for this color right here, and right now it's this color. So as you can see, this one is lighter. So I'm going to have to go back over it again to get it that color. I'm just doing like two or three drops of each color each time. I guess you could put more or however you want to do it, but. And I'm just dabbing.
Make sure I don't leave any white spots, which for this cup, it honestly wouldn't matter since I'm going for like an ocean look anyway, but I do want to make, I want to make the whole cup darker than what it is right now. So I will be going back to fill in. If I go back over the areas that I've already done down here, what I've noticed, like why it's still wet, it's just gonna like pull up some of the other inks that I already did. So I try to let it draw all the way first and then I go back. That's what I did with the other cup. And then I go back after it's dry, which it doesn't take that long to dry. But I go back and then add more ink to where I want it to be. Trying to make sure I don't have any more white spots. That way when I go back over the second time, hopefully I only will have to do it. Twice. But really at this point you're just getting whatever effect you want. Because it could be left like this. But areas like this where I mean, some people like that, but I kind of want to blend it a little bit more. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. And then I'm going to come back. I don't know if you can tell, but it is fully covered. Look, from the camera, it looks like there's still white spots, but there's not really. It's just lighter blues. So I will come back when this is dry to do another coat. Okay, so and this is completely dry, which doesn't really take that long at all. So we're going to go back and do the same thing again. Just do it until you get the colors you want. If I wanted to keep it this way, then, you know, that would be done. But I don't want to get it a little bit darker. So I'm going to start at the bottom again. It doesn't really matter where you start, but just where I'm going to start. You can see the difference in colors. The lighting in here is horrible. But I have on every light possible, so I don't have any more lights to turn on. I'm just doing little drops. Same thing there. 
it's just a little I'm not even pushing on it it's just coming out by itself I'm just going back over like where the part that I just did and the new part that I'm doing now meet that way it doesn't look so blotchy like like it does right here because I don't I'm not going for that look in this cup so I'm going back and just dabbing it again that way it blends more on this part nothing wrong with that look I'm just not going for that with this cup. And this is the color that I was going for, so I'm not going to need another coat after this layer because this is the part I've done, this is the part I haven't done yet right here. So I like how this is darker, but not too dark for the water slide decals that I'm going to put up there. I don't want it to be too dark for this one. And I don't know if I said watercolor or water slide. But I meant water slab with the ones that I chose are watercolor images. So that's what I use on Google when I was looking for. I Googled watercolor um, sea animals. And that's what I'm going to be putting on this cup. And go back over any spots that I feel could be like a little bit darker, but overall, I am satisfied with the ocean look of this cup.
and I didn't do the bottom of it you could but I just didn't because I don't want to have to keep worrying about laying it down and getting it on something so I just didn't do the bottom of it so that's pretty much it for this part you just add more if you feel like you want to do darker areas um as far as the alcohol goes if i got something that was like way too dark or something i wanted to change i could just take it and wipe it and it helps lift it off or it helps make it lighter but like i said i don't I, as you can see i didn't even use the actual alcohol itself trying to make sure i got everything i'm gonna do a little bit more Just to make sure I've got it good. And this part right here, I got a little bit of um, um, the alcohol inks right there, but it'll come right off with the alcohol itself. So I'll wait till it dries and then I'll just get a Q-tip or something and then just wipe it and it'll come right back off. So don't worry about that if you do get it on something that you didn't want it on. One second, I lost my, my little sponge. So this is what it looks like so far. So while this is drying, which I said it doesn't take that long for it to dry, but while it's drying, I will show you um, really quick how I got my images and um, the water slide paper. As a matter of fact, this is already pretty much dry. Um, I'm just gonna let it sit a little bit. Um, when this does dry though, before I forget, I take it back outside and then I spray it with this one just spray it all around the way I can make sure that it's sealed because if you don't spray anything when you go to apply your water decal it might smear the ink of this um, so I use this one again I don't know if you have to use semi gloss but just make sure it's clear um, so this is what I use and it worked very well for the Prince cup so I'm gonna stick with this one but I will go run and go get my computer to be able to show you how um, I did the images and then I will go from there. Okay, so I went to Google and for this cup, because I'm doing ocean theme, I just went to Google and I did watercolor blank. So I did watercolor seaweed for this and then I just took this image. I have design space because I have a Cricut so this is I don't know how to do it I mean I guess you could put it in Word or um, the other I don't even know what, what the other machines are called to be honest but I um, did it in the design space for Cricut because I wanted to make sure that I could see how big each one was as far as being able to put it on my cup and making sure that it actually fit the way that I wanted it to now that I'm looking at this I'm looking at this I don't know if it's gonna blend too much, so I might have to change that. So it's a good thing I looked at it. I might have to change it to like this green one or something like that. That way it'll show up more against this blue. Um, but I took all my images that I did, um, and there's other things up here too that I have to print out because like I'm doing a um, Minecraft cup for my son, and I have his other things up there. But I have to add the wolf, so that's for that. And then I'm gonna make a cowboy's cup, so that's for that so ignore all that stuff but so i did shark turtle seahorses starfish crab dolphin jellyfish um i did them all in watercolor that's what i google so watercolor seahorse watercolor turtle sea turtle and um so i'm gonna take my paper 
the water slide decal paper um, and then I'm going to put it upside down on my printer because you want the you want it to come up the one shot one side is shiny and one side is dull and I will grab that I meant to grab it and show you the size but you put it face down and then it's gonna print so when I go and crick it and put these images and I did all these together because once you put the paper in of course you can't go back later and put the other paper like you do with the Cricut machine. So if you don't fill up the paper, it's going to just waste it and then you've wasted the sheet of paper. So I tried to fill up as much as I could for these images. That way I can go ahead and print out everything I need at one time and be done with it and not have to like, okay, let me print this, so let me print this. And that way I'm getting a full use of my sheet of paper. So it's loading right now. So this is what's going to print on page one and also print on that line. And like I said, you probably could go in Microsoft Word and do it and get more up here per page and stuff. But I haven't even taken the time to do because this the Prince Cup is the first cup that I've made with with alcohol inks, with the water slide paper, everything. This is the first one that I did. So I'm not that experienced. So I really don't know. But if then you can go to page two. And you can see, I don't know if it's going to pull it up. Should it pull it up? Oh, there it goes. The, the other images. So once I go to print this, I'll send it to my printer and put my paper upside down, like I said. Because you want, you, you can tell when you're looking at it which side is the side that should be down. And then I'm going to print all of these. I'm going to go back, like I said, and change this because I don't want it to. It would still show up up here, but I want it to pop. So I'm going to change it to green instead of this blue. So I'm going to do that really quick and I'm going to go grab the paper and then that way I can show you both of those at the same time and how the paper also works. Okay, so now I'm at my computer and I'm just going to show you I did change the two um, images, VC weed, I changed them to the green ones so they still fit in the same spot. This is the water slide decal paper. This is the shiny side and this is the dull side. So you can see them side by side. So I'm gonna put both of them in there upside down like I said in my printer. And then I'm going to print them out. And then we will have to spray triple thick spray on them. I'll show you what that is. We're gonna spray that over. I did it twice, but you wanna get it really, really good because if you don't, then when you get ready to go and put your water slide decal paper in the onto your cup, it's gonna like all the ink is gonna smear and everything. So you have to do put the triple thick on it, let it dry completely, do it again, a really good coat, let it dry completely, and then you have to and then you're able to cut them. You could cut them before if you want to. It's totally up to you. Um, so I'm, I might go in and like cut each one out after it's done. That way I can not waste so much triple thick. So I will see. But either way, however I do it, I will put it on camera. That way you guys are able to see it too. So I'm going to put my... You have to excuse my stuff because we just moved. So I'm going to put the paper in here. And then all of these images are print to cut so I'm going to send it to my printer I'm going to turn this bleed off I honestly don't even know what that does but I took it off because oh well there it goes I guess that's what it does so like it did change okay yeah I see it different so this is with the bleed on and then I'm going to take it off so you can see the difference so I'm going to leave it off because that's how I did it for my other cup. So I'm going to print these out. And I actually think it's going to print this first page and then make me go back and print the other one too. Just like it does if you're doing something else. So We shall see. My printer prints super slow for pictures. So... Oh, and before you put the triple thick on, let this dry. You let the ink dry just like you would in the other picture. 
So here's our first one. And I'm gonna go back and print the other one. So I send it to print it. And this paper is not cheap. I, I got this on um, Amazon. Um, and I think it came out to like a dollar, maybe a little over a dollar a piece. So you really, like I said, want to try to get as many images as possible on this one sheet of paper. That way you're getting your money's worth. Um, so let's see. Printing in. Oh, actually, I need to cancel that because I did not turn the bleed off. I don't want it to bleed. So let's try that again. And I yanked my printer open real quick because I do not want to waste that paper. Okay. So let's try this again. Send it print. Turn off bleed this time. And now we can print. I'm glad I caught that. Okay, I'm outside again. And you have to forgive me because I'm holding my dog's leash at the same time trying to do this. But um, this is what I'm going to use to... Oh, I already cut them out because it's just easier for me to go ahead. And I'm going to cut them out better after this dries. But I wanted to cut it out that way it's not just one big piece of paper. And I'm wasting a lot of triple thick. But this is what I use um, to spray on them. So I already shook it up and I shook this up very, very good. That way it goes on the way it's supposed to. And you want to get it like really good coat. And then let it dry. And then I'm going to repeat the same process again and let it dry very good and after it dries then we are ready to go ahead and put it on our cup oh but i have to seal the cup first so i'm going to bring my cup back out here and seal it so i'm going to spray my cup with the clear coat and again i'm going to be using this one to spray the cup i don't know if you use a triple thick you probably could but i'm just going to use this one You just want to coat it lightly. That way you make sure you seal in everything. And that is that. So the only thing that I did off camera was I went and added a decal because I decided that I wanted to put this up here before adding my decals. And I went and cut them all out more than what they were before just try to get closer to the actual design without having a whole bunch of white space in between so i did that so i'm just going to go and add them wherever i feel like they would fit good i don't know how many of these that i printed out are going to be able to fit but i'm going to try to do as many as i can on this one so i have in this bowl is i use warm water so let's get this one here so I have warm water in here and it would be hard for me to pick my, cause I'm doing this by myself so I can't pick up the phone and do it. But you're just gonna take your, I'll just start with this one. Take your decal. I'll do the turtle first, the sea turtle. And you're gonna put it in the water. And when you put it in the water, here, let me see if I can get it. it in the water and it folds up but you want to make sure it goes all the way in the water and you're gonna let it sit in there for like 30 seconds and it's gonna take the little see it's not coming off yet so I gotta wait oh there it goes okay it's actually ready already so let me put the phone back down I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna slide it on to my cup so I am going to put the sea turtle I'll put him right here and see if I can there so 
So I take mine out. I just let the water drip. And it's already starting to come off. So you just want to take it and place it and slide the decal. Let me see. Let's get it. Slide it where you want it to go. And then I take my finger and very lightly I rub all the extra water and make sure there's no bubbles in it. Because this starts drying, then you don't want to pull it back up because it's going to mess up your design. So here is the sea turtle. So you pretty much just do the same thing with all of them. You take them one by one. I'm going to put them in, put it back in the water for a few seconds until it's ready to peel itself off. And you pretty much just make it, you just take it and slide it on where you want it to go. So you can see it's sliding off. I'm going to put the crab, try putting it here. Let me lay my cup back down. See, like I said, you want to make sure there's no air bubbles, nothing that folded over when you were trying to put it on. And then I'm going to do, I'll do the seaweed and I'll put the seaweed on the bottom. I'm probably going to put it, let's see. I'll put the seaweed, this one right here. And to me, it's easier if I lay my cup down rather than trying to apply it while it's sitting up. So that's why I keep laying it down and doing it. It's just easier. I'm able to get it at a better angle. And actually my sea turtle, I don't know if I touched it up, but it's starting to fold up. So I'm going to try to put some more water on it. It's a little bit. And I just took it with my finger because the same thing happened with my Prince cup on one of them. And I just took it, made sure I had water underneath it first. And then try to slide it. Very carefully so you don't mess it up. I want to grab a butter knife. Oh, actually, I can use this popsicle stick right here. <clears throat> and there we go. So I just took it to help flatten it back out. I think it's still a little bit wet, so I have to be careful I don't touch that one over again until it dries. Okay, let's turn it. This way I'm gonna put this one back here. This is where the, you can't see it, but the Ozark thing is. So I'm gonna try. Well, actually I'm gonna put it like right here because I don't wanna risk putting it there and it doesn't latch on good. So I'll put it right here beside it. So I'm gonna lay it back down again.
And then I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm just going to blot this so I can make sure it's drying a little bit quicker and that way I don't have any issues with it coming back up. And no issues with bubbles because you don't want to lift or any bubbles when you get ready to do your epoxy or else you'll be, you'll be able to fill it. And for the other cup, the Prince cup, it only took me one coat of epoxy. So I guess if you did lift it up a little bit, you could probably do another coat of epoxy. But I want to try to avoid that. So there is the seaweed. And I will do a couple more so you guys can see. And then I will do the rest off camera and come back ready to epoxy. I'm doing the other seaweed right now. And I'm going to go ahead, because my bowl's pretty big, and I'm going to stick the seahorses in there too. and again it kind of slides if you feel like it starts getting sticky again you can stick it back in the water for a second and lift it up again and I'm going to put this one on the opposite side and I'm trying to put it on the bottom of the cup since I painted it all the way to the bottom There's no bubbles, no air bubbles. I'm going to take my paper towel again. And blot. <clears throat> Let's see what we'll do. I'll do my seahorses. I guess I'll do them up here since I have two of them. Which is the opposite side of the front of my cup. So I'm pretty much putting it on the other side of where that is. So I'm going to take it and just slide it off. You can hold it with your hands, but you risk messing it up, so I'm trying to use the little paper that came with it, the backing thing. No bubbles in it. So these are seahorses. I'm trying to see if I like the positioning of them. Okay. So here's our seahorses. Seaweed. Sea turtle. More seaweed. So I am going to go ahead and put the rest of these on same process i'm going to put them on off camera real quick and then i will come back and we will do the um epoxy well actually first i'll come back and then we're going to seal this again because i want to seal it again first so we'll seal it and then we'll do the epoxy i just wanted to show you real quick what i ended up doing how in how it came out um before i seal it so, let me see if you can see. And jellyfish, dolphin. Shark. On oh, the stingray is right here. Crab. 
and we're a sea turtle. And what I wanted to say was that when you're putting these on, like how I put it in the crease right here, you're gonna have to like really take your time doing that. And it would have been hard to show it on the camera anyway because I would have had to like pull it out of frame in order to be able to fix it the way I wanted to. Um, so you just wanna make sure that if you're like pushing down on it that you have a little bit of water on your hands. You don't want your hands to be dry because it might crack it because it starts to get hardened real quick. It starts to harden real quick. So you want to make sure that you just have a little bit of water in your hands that way it's not going to crack it as you're trying to do that or if you're trying to get air bubbles out or anything like that. Now we are ready to begin our epoxy process. Um, I use one tablespoon of A and one tablespoon of B. You want them to be equal because if not they'll still be tacky. I always do a tablespoon of each because I'm always doing two cups at the same time so that's why. So if you're doing one cup you don't need this much. Like I said, I always do two. I always do one and one because I don't want to run out in the middle of doing the two cups. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to pour. I'm going to do B first because A is way thicker to in the thing. So and you'll see once you're pouring it. So I'm going to do this first. I let it even out. And I'm pouring it in my little container. <clears throat> and my little stick that I showed you guys earlier, that's what I use to just scrape the excess out. I got these brushes, not brushes, these measuring cups on um, Amazon and they're silicone so it does, the epoxy doesn't stick to these. Some takes a little bit longer to get out. This bit is so much thicker. Okay, now that I've gotten it all out, how much is going to come out? And I mix it, and I mix mine slow, that way I can try to prevent bubbles, but you want it, it looks cloudy right now. I don't know if you can really see it. I don't want to dump it out trying to show on the camera, but I mix it up really good, and I usually mix it for, i say at least a minute. You want to get it mixed very, very well because like I said, if you don't, it will be tacky even after it's been on your cup for a long time. And I have on a glove because I use the finger method when I'm spreading my epoxy. You might get some huge bubbles, but they usually pop on their own, so when I'm done I'll let it sit for a few seconds to let all the bubbles come to the top and um, pop
so I'm gonna put this down let it um, sit for a few seconds I have to have mine rotating this way because again I'm left-handed so it's easier for me to be able to have it rotating going this way so I can use my hand and catch it before it falls on the side so I'm just waiting for my epoxy to sit for a few seconds and it's already the big bubbles have already gone so sometimes I use my hand, well I use my hand to spread it, but sometimes I do use a little stick to help me kind of spread it because I don't like to put a whole bunch more times. I don't like to waste um, my pot. I'm going to slide this tray under it just so I don't um, get any epoxy on my wood down here. Because it will drip a little bit just for me doing this. I usually don't have drips from the cup itself because like I said I don't put a whole bunch at one time but it might drip from when I'm actually like removing it with my hand. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit at a time. At first anyway. And I just spread it enough so that way it's not going to drip. That's what I was saying. So I don't want it. I don't want to waste it. I hate wasting the epoxy. And you can tell when there's no epoxy on it because it feels, well, especially with glitter, it feels very rough compared to when you where the epoxy is. You can feel the smoothness, smoothness of it. But even with this cup, I can tell where there's no epoxy because it just feels like spray paint pretty much. Make sure you get the top up here all the way around and all the way at the bottom too because I didn't tape this off before so and make sure I get epoxy over every part What I'm actually going to do, because I meant to do it, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to the epoxy. It's a little tiny bit. I'm going to use the white one on this cup. So I'm just going to take a little bit and put it in my epoxy. And I'm going to stir that up super good so I can give it a little bit of bling and I meant to do this at the beginning but I forgot but it's okay because it's not gonna hurt anything mm. 
<clears throat> Just make sure you mix it up super good again. And if you get any bubbles, just give it a few seconds to get your bubbles out. So I have my white glitter in here. Just checking to make sure my cup is fully coated and like I said I wasn't trying to like have like a whole bunch of glitter on this cup I just kind of wanted to have like a little pop of color or shine you know because when the epoxy dries then it'll give it that glossy look and it'll be really pretty with the glitter in it now I'm pretty much just trying to make sure that I actually did put epoxy over it every piece. So let's go. And I don't have any drips because like I said I try not to use like a ton of epoxy. I just take my time and I think that's what really helped with the way the other cup came out. The Prince cup. I didn't add a whole bunch at a time. I just really let it see what it was going to do on its own. You want to have it covered. You don't want to have any spots, of course, that aren't covered. But I'm not sure if you can even see the glitter in the actual camera, so I will take a picture when I'm done so you can see it. But like I said, I, I like this cup so much that I really didn't want to like overwhelm it with so many things going on at one time. So while that's spinning, I'm going to go ahead and put some on my other cup. But the reason why I'm still showing you in the video is because I like to go and look. Like I get face level with it and make sure that I can still see that there's no empty spots. So that's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna give this a few seconds to like just turn and then I'm gonna look at it again to see, make sure there's no places where I need to go add more epoxy before it starts to get tacky.
So I'm going to look back at this one and make sure I don't see any empty spots. Because sometimes you might get like a little gap in your epoxy. And you'll be able to tell because it looks like a, like a hole almost. But I'm not seeing any. So you want to just keep checking that. I check it honestly for about the first hour because i rather go ahead and try to get it out rather than having to redo a cup or have to do another coat of epoxy for something that could have been prevented. So. So at this point, that's all you're doing is just check in to make sure you don't get any more gaps. Um, in your epoxy, make sure it's fully covered. Like I said, you'll be able to feel the smoothness of it. If there's any rough spots or spots that feel not even rough but dull, then that's how you can tell you have not applied any epoxy. Like right here, I can feel it that I haven't put any up there yet. I'm going to add a little bit more epoxy right here. Not because I see anything wrong, but just because I want to add a little bit more glitter and I'm not seeing any glitter right there. And this too is just add a little bit more glitter just a little bit Checking again to make sure I don't have any gaps. And I'm not seeing any. So I am going to let this keep going, which it takes a long time. <laughs> Probably about, I say, six hours, six to eight hours. Um, I don't touch them at all until I feel like they're completely done. So, um, I'm going to let this go. And then when I come back, I will show you our finished cup. I just wanted to show you the cup from a different angle that we can see how it's turning. And then, this is what I was saying about getting eye level, so I do this, and I just look at my cup really, really close to make sure there's no gaps. I'm not seeing any. No gaps, no bubbles, or anything like that. So like I said, I keep checking it for like the first 30 minutes to an hour. 
to make sure that nothing gets up there before it gets way too tacky to be able to get it out without another coat. So we're going to let these keep going. And then when it's done, we can see. It just is pretty much how it's going to look, but of course, the dry version. Now that everything has completely dried, our cup is complete. Mm-hmm. <laughs>